My current title is I'm the Mary Lou Fulton Presidential Professor of Literacy Studies at Arizona State University. I was trained as a linguist and still work in linguistics. I study uh, how people communicate across cultures, across social divides. But I also study video games and learning. And the two don't get the same audience. 13, 14 years ago, I had a six-year-old and like parents read books with their kids and interact. He was playing a video game called Pajama Sam, and I figured I should sit there and interact with him over it and help him. Turns out he didn't need much help. I was really intrigued. I had never played video games, and so I wanted to know what would an adult one be like. And I arbitrarily bought one I didn't know, and I went home and was in a state of shock of how hard it was, how long it was, I had a full head of hair when I started. Um, and I thought, wow, people buy this that for this torture? Uh, it's supposed to be a toy. And as I got into it, I realized it was the first time in many years where I'd had to learn something completely new and not just rest on my laurels and experience. I eventually found it life enhancing and then began to see that it was really recruiting deep ways of supporting learning. It was actually teaching. And it was doing so in ways that research and the learning sciences had greatly supported, but which we don't use in school. And I found it kind of a, an irony that we use cutting edge principles of learning supported by research in our video games, but not in our schools. And I wanted to then go study that. Video games are nothing but problem solving spaces. They are ways to solve problems. If you can't solve the problem, you won't buy the game, the set of problems. You don't want the problems to be easy. You want them to be challenging. And so the game design company has an interesting problem. How do I keep you working for 30, 40, 100 hours, solving hard problems, getting better and better until you've achieved mastery while enjoying it? And that's all a video game is. We tend to focus on the problems where you're shooting people, but those aren't even the best-selling games. 